Cost Accounting 19, Target Profit and the Impact of Income Taxes. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep, and our reference is the Intro to Management Accounting book that's pretty widely used. So we've talked about target profit and break even in prior videos, and this video talks about, well, what about the impact of income taxes? It's the next thing. So we have income before tax, it's $1,000, an income tax rate of 30% or $300, so we get net income of $700. And we can cr think about a formula called net income before taxes. So I want to think about um, a certain dollar amount of money that I want to make before taxes. So we do a little algebra. Net income is income before taxes less 30% income before taxes. So in other words, if we want to look at our net income after tax, it's income before less that income that's being taxed, which is 30%, 30% tax rate. We can shorten up the formula on the right-hand side by saying after tax net income is 70% times income before taxes, so 1 minus 0.3 gets you 0.7. And then if we isolate the income before income taxes on one side of the equal sign, we can say that income before taxes is net income divided by 0.7. And since we have a number less than 1 in the denominator, we know that the income before taxes number is going to be bigger than the after tax income numerator. And the best way to explain it is in a formula. Our net income was $700 after tax, so if I take that $700 after tax and I divide it by 1 minus the tax rate or 0.7, I get $1,000, which is my income before taxes. So if I want to take home $700 in my pocket at a 30% tax rate, I need to make 1000 before taxes. And now we tie in a uh, a concept we've seen before, target net income. Hey, I'm, there's a certain amount of money that I'm trying to make, and this is true of me and lots of self-employed people. How much money am I trying to make? Target income. Same type of formula. If I take my target income after taxes, and I divide it by 1 minus the tax rate, which is just what I did up here, I get that target income before taxes. So if I want to take home $50,000, I'm going to have to make more than that so I can pay the taxes. The next thing I do is tie in break-even formula to this target income com concept. Target sales, less variable expenses, less fixed expenses, we've seen this formula in break-even before, equals target after-tax income divided by 1 minus the tax rate, which is the formula from up here. So let's do an example of how we can use that break-even formula. Let's assume that n is the number of units. We're going to solve for n right here. Units to reach break-even. The sale price is 4, so 4n is my sales. The variable cost is $1.50 minus $1.50n is my variable cost. My fixed cost is 500 minus 500. The other side of the equal sign is this piece. And I'm going to assume my target after tax income, will, what I want to have in my pocket is $200, $200 numerator, 1 minus the tax rate, 1 minus 0.3 is the denominator. So if I do the algebra, what I find out, and that's what's going on here. So. 200 divided by 0.7 is this number. I combine the n's together to get 2.5 n. I add $500 to the right-hand side to isolate the 2.5 n. And then I take this number and divide it by 2.5, and I get n units to break even is about 314 units. So what have I just found out? I've got to sell 314 units under these assumptions <clears throat> to reach my break-even, if you will, which is a certain target in after-tax income of $200. So to reach it, 
$200 after tax net income, I've got to sell 314 units. So I didn't set the formula to zero like a normal break even. I set the formula equal to the after tax net income I wanted, and I've got to sell that many units. What about changes in net income? For example, I just found out my break even was 314 units roughly. Let's say there's a new sales level of 400. I think I can have a better year and sell 400 units. So the difference between these two is 85.7 more units sold. Well, how would that affect my net income? Well, if I take the change in the volume of units, which is the 85, and I multiply it by the contribution margin per unit, which is 4 minus 1.5 or 2.5, right here, and then if I multiply it by 1 minus a tax rate, which is 70%, 1 minus a tax rate, I'll get my increase in an income. So this formula is the 85.7 change in the units times 2.5 contribution margin, which was 4 minus 1.5, times 1 minus the tax rate, which is 0.7, and I find out that if I sell 85.7 more units, I'll increase my net income $150. So what we just found out was we found a in net income before tax calculation. We talked about target income. And we found out we could plug in that target net income into a break-even formula to figure out how many units do I need to sell to reach that target after-tax income. And we talked about how do I figure, how do I do a what if, if I increase my units or decrease them, how will that change my net income? That's the end of cost accounting 19 target profit impact on income taxes are not on the web series is a list of videos and spreadsheets not on YouTube. Our YouTube channel Ken Boyd STL gives us gives a complete listing of the videos we have on YouTube for live one-on-one -on -one tutoring and chat sessions stl.net test.net excuse me is the website. Here's our email and our phone number. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.